When a substance changes state from a liquid to a vapor, the process occurs at a constant temperature. When this occurs in a refrigeration system, we call the refrigerant saturated. For water, experiments have proven that saturation, or boiling, occurs at 212 degrees Fahrenheit at 14.7 PSIA, which is an atmospheric pressure. However, if you were to travel to Denver, Colorado, which has an altitude of a mile, we would find that water boils at 203 degrees Fahrenheit. What caused this change? As we change altitude, the atmospheric pressure changes. At an altitude of one mile, the atmospheric pressure is 12.2 PSIA, which caused a change in the saturation temperature. This is important because it teaches us that the saturation temperature is dependent on the pressure. Scientists have performed experiments to determine the saturation temperatures of refrigerants at various pressures and developed useful tables that engineers can use when selecting refrigerants. We call these the saturation tables. Additionally, a German scientist named Richard Moliere plotted the values on diagrams that are named after him, Moliere diagrams. The relationship between pressure and temperature is extremely helpful because it means that when we measure the pressure of a saturated refrigerant, we will know the temperature and vice versa. The graph on the screen depicts the saturation points for ammonia. The line communicates to us the temperature and corresponding pressure when ammonia is saturated. If ammonia in a refrigeration system does not fall on this line, it means that the ammonia is subcooled or superheated.